During COVID, we had stopped that because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, but now we have reviewed that and we have allowed them to have their parents uh, and their loved ones come and visit them. But of course, within the limits so that they do not come with foodstuffs and other things, they just come visit their loved ones who are in here, these uh, uh, friends of ours who are actually our clients, so that they are encouraged. And, they, and when you come and visit, we encourage you to encourage them to, and give them the benefit of the doubt and help them see that there is a second chance they have out there. The other issue that they raised was the issue of uh, a presidential pardon that is already in operation. The presidential uh, pardon is, is, in, is operational and we are encouraging those who wish to get presidential pardon uh, to, to, to do the relevant applications to get to get the to 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 get the power of mercy uh, of being operational, the other issue that was um, key to them was the issue of the virtual university. As you are aware, the ICT department, the Ministry of ICT, uh, the, in collaboration with the Ministry of uh, Education, uh, high, uh, the State Department of Higher Education, opened the virtual university, and they requested if they could also be enrolled. We are looking into that. The State Department already has an education unit and uh, that education unit is looking into the possibility of working with the uh, development partners to see whether we can equip additional classrooms as well as have uh, computers and laptops to, to enable these people to uh, uh, access that education. And we are also going to put in place Wi-Fi to, to enable them access that education.